Hi guys and welcome back to CashBright. In this video, we will be looking at creating and uploading a design to Redbubble. We will then look at how you would apply that design to a product on your store. If you are completely new to Redbubble, please do go ahead and check out our other videos for an introduction to the print on demand world. So, once you are set up on Redbubble, the next part is where things can get fun and you can start to produce products which will ultimately be snapped up by the public. So without further ado, let's just jump in shall we? Creating a design This next step can stump you initially because of course you need to come up with something which you can apply to a product like a t-shirt or a scarf, phone case, whatever it is. Now to let you in on my own creative process, if you can call it that, I simply like to play around with free unsplash images on the online picture editing software PicMonkey. I have a subscription to PicMonkey, but it's worth it because it makes creating simple designs super easy. So I always say that first of all, you need to have an idea and to know your market. Well, I think the niche market of animal lovers is a good one to use as an example. It is important to make sure your designs have a high enough resolution because otherwise Redbubble simply won't be able to print them on their products. PicMonkey is good for smaller resolutions, which is fine for my purposes in this video. So as I mentioned, I like to look for free images and I think I found a nice one of a gorilla on Unsplash. So I add an image, click open, there we go. Next I think I will want to remove the background, like so. Perfect. Next let's add an interesting texture to the design. This is the great thing you know because you can just play around with different combinations, there's no right or wrong answer. I think this one looks good, so I'm going to go with that one. Great, now we can choose some words. So let's get some themed fonts. I think this one will be good, so I'm going to choose that one. And it's basically a case of adding in your own creative expression to accentuate your design and ultimately just to make it catchy. Now I've chosen this expression and okay, it's a bit immature, but I find it quite funny. And I'm hoping of course that my public will find it funny too. And ultimately that's what it's all about. Choosing good designs that you know will appeal to your target market. I have to admit I'm quite pleased with this design. I now just hope it translates into sales. Now we have our super simple design, it's time to move on to our next step. Uploading your design to Redbubble. To upload our design to Redbubble, all we need to do is go to the top right and click add new work, like so. There we go. You're presented with this page where you can just scroll down and choose upload to all products, like so. Select our image, click open, and it takes some time to upload. Uh, as you can see there's multiple options such as a title, tags, a description and other languages too. They're uploaded, excellent, and there we have it. And as you can see, it's applied to these products below. So going back up, we'll just fill in the details in a very basic way. You can always come back and change it later. So I'll put Farting Gorilla as the title. You can put some tags. I don't have any research on which tags are best, but I'm just coming up with whatever makes sense. So 
you know, fart, um, funny environment. Is there another good one to put? Perhaps I don't know. I haven't done the research. And then just a quick description: be loud and proud. Because you always got to be loud and proud every time you fart, obviously. There we go, and we can scroll down, and here are all the products. Some are enabled, some are disabled. Again, this is due to the pixel ratio. Your design will need to have a higher pixel ratio for it to be enabled on these other products by Redbubble. So this one here is enabled, so let's just click edit. And you get some nice edit options. So this one's slightly off, so I'll just adjust that. But you can adjust it vertically, horizontally, you can add a background color, you can change the sizing, there's plenty of options there. I'm happy with that. Click apply changes. There we go. And there are plenty of products to choose from. This is why Redbubble is so great. Of course, when it comes to your own design, you'll want to come back and adjust the design on each of these products to make sure that they fit properly. So heading down here, you're given options under which to classify your work. And I believe that this falls under the terms of digital art. And design and illustration. Let's go for that one. Again, you can come back and change this later if necessary. Finally, scrolling down further, we have the final options here. Is this mature content? No. Is this going to be available for everyone? Yes, already selected. And yes, I do have the rights to sell this work. This relates to intellectual property, etc. Click Save Work. And there you go. Our work has been successfully uploaded to Redbubble. It is now available on multiple types of product. And you can go back later and adjust each design for each product. Once you've spent some time fine-tuning your designs to your products, you will be well on your way to being able to sell your products to the public. Thanks for watching. If you found this video to be helpful, please do leave a like and hit the subscribe button. And until the next time, stay sharp, stay hungry, and stay cash bright.